Hello friends in this video tutorial, we are going to learn how can we make dynamic editable select box, or combo box by using jQuery in PHP. If this are large number of option in select box or combo box, then we have to difficult to find right option at the time of form filling. But if there is an option of typing for search option in select box, or editable select box, then user can easily find right option from combo box at the time of form submission. So, here we have make this video tutorial, in which we will learn step by step how to make editable select box by using jQuery with PHP script. Now let's start learning this topic, so this is our testing database, in this we have one table apps countries, in this table there are 245 country name. So, from this data, we will make dynamic select box, and then after by using jQuery plugin we will convert into editable select box. Here we have one another table sample data, in this table we will insert sample data like name, and country details into this table by using Ajax with PHP. This is our index page, and on this page we have already included JavaScript library, and bootstrap library link under this page. For make editable select box, here we have also included jQuery plugin like jQuery editable select, we have already included this plugin style sheet, and JavaScript library under this page. By using this plugin, we can convert simple select box to editable select box. On this page we have already write jQuery, and Ajax code for fetch data from sample table and display on web page in table format with edit button. This fetch data function has been used for fetch data from sample data, and display on web page using Ajax, this source code link you can find under video description. Here we will learn how to make editable select box, and how can we use that editable select box for database operation. For here, we have moved to write HTML code, so here we have to make one form, so here we have write form method is equal to post, and ID is equal to sample form. Under this form we have write input type is equal text, name, and id is equal to name, under this text box user can enter their name details. Same way for select country, here we have write select tag with name and id is equal to country, under this select box we will load country list from app countries table, and make this select box editable. For make dynamic select box, for this we have to make database connection, which we have already make under this database connection.php file. So, here in index page we have to only write include statement with database connection.php file name, it will make database connection on this page. Below this we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from apps countries order by country name in ascending order. Below this select query we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement under this statement we have write dollar query variable 
it will make query for execution. For execute query, we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, this method will execute select query. For get query execution data, here we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method, this method will return query execution data, which will store under dollar result variable. Now here we have write for each loop, and under condition we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable, by using this loop it will fetch data from dollar result variable. Under this loop we have write, echo statement with option tag with value is equal to dollar row country name variable, and in option text we have write dollar row country name variable, it will fill select box with country name dynamically. Now here we have write, input type is equal to hidden, name and id is equal to action, and value is equal to add, here we have define insert data action under this variable. For save text box, and select box data, here we have write input type is equal to submit, name, ID and value is equal to save, by click on this button data will be inserted. Friends here we can see when page has been load into browser, then on web page we can see simple form field like text box and select box with submit button, and below we can see data in table format with edit button. Here we can see select box is simple, it is not editable, now we want to convert into editable format, and how can we use this editable select box data for database operation. So, here in jQuery code, we have write dollar with select box id country with editable select method, this method will initialize jQuery editable select plugin, and convert simple select box to editable select box. Friends first we have refresh we have page, and after refresh of web page on web page here we can see in select box, we can try under select box. So when we have typed that alphabet country name has been filter, and we can select that country name from select box, so user can easily filter option by type under select box. Now we have seen how can we use value of this editable select box, for database operation. So here we have write dollar with form id, sample form with on method, under this we have write submit, so when form has been submitted then this block of code will execute. Under this block we have write event dot prevent default method, this method will stop to submit form data. Below this we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar with text box id name with value method is equal to blank, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write alert statement with message like enter name, this message will be pop up if name text box has blank value. After this we have write else if statement, and under condition we have write dollar select box id, country with value method is equal to blank, if this select box has blank value then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write alert statement with message like, 
select country, this message will be pop up on web page. If above both condition false, then it will execute else block of code, under this block we have write ajax request, with first option url set to action.php file, here request has been sent to this file. In second option we have write method, and here we have use post method for send data to server. In third option we have write data, here we want to send form data, so here we have write dollar this with serialize method, this method will convert form data, into URL encoded string. Lastly we have write success callback function, this function has been called if request completed successfully, and it will receive data from server. Under this function we have write alert statement with data variable, this code will pop value of data variable. After form submission we want to reset form fields, so here we have write dollar with form id, sample form with zero index dot reset method, this method will reset all form fields value. After reset of form field, we want to display latest inserted data, so here we have called fetch data function, this function will display latest data on web page. Now we have go to action.php page, and here we have write include statement with database connection.php, it will make database connection on this page. After making database connection, we have write if statement, and under condition we have write is set function with dollar post action variable, if this variable value is set then it will execute if block of code. If above condition true, then it will execute if block of code, and here we have again write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar post action variable value is equal to add. If above condition true, then it will execute if block of code, and under this code we have write dollar data variable is equal to array. In first key we have write double colon, with value get from dollar post name variable, same way in second key we have write double colon country, value get from dollar post country variable. So, this way we have store form data under dollar variable in array format. Now we have write dollar query variable is equal to insert into sample data table, with table column name and country, with value get from double colon name, and double colon country. Below this query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement, under this we have write dollar query variable, it will make query for execution. For execute query, we have write if statement, under condition we have write dollar statement variable with execute method with dollar data variable. If data successfully inserted, then it will execute if block of code, and under this block we have write echo statement with data inserted message, this message will be seen to user, now we have check output in browser. Friends first we have refresh web page, after refresh of web page we can see form field with save button, and below we can see data in table format with edit button. First we have directly click on save button, so we have received pop up message like name is required, so in name we have write David Moore, and click on save button. 
So we have again received pop-up message like select country, so for select United States from list of country, here we have type United, after type United, then we can see all country names start with United. So here we can type in select box for filter country name, so here we have make editable select box using jQuery, and here we have select United States. Now we have click on save button, after click on save button we have received data inserted message on web page, and below we can see inserted data in table with edit button. So, here we have learned how to convert simple select box to editable select box, by using jQuery editable select plugin, then after we have seen how to use, editable select box value for insert data using Ajax with PHP. Here we will not discuss how to use edit data of editable select box using Ajax with PHP, but you can get completed source code of this tutorial with edit data operation from source link which you can find from this video tutorial description. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.